this was an impromptu kind of video because <laughs> I was reading the comments on my Facebook and Instagram about this tweet that I let out recently about my dog and me hiding myself eating. I found myself eating in my own car in the driveway 10 feet away from that door only because my dog was inside the house and I know every time I eat he just stares with his literal puppy dog eyes at me so I couldn't even take it anymore. I had cash for about seven to eight years and I've never done that before so while I was all right let me start let me start from the beginning. I went to KFC because I was hungry. Well, it doesn't even matter why I went to, I went to KFC to eat. I drove home not even thinking about cash. Usually when I get some drive through I go to my couch and eat. This one day, about a few days ago, I decided to just go to KFC and come in the garage. And by the time I opened the garage door with my button, I see cash by that window, which he is about 99% of the time. And he's just laying down expecting me. Now this is the part, this is the gotcha. When I saw him and his tail, <laughs> When I saw him in his tail by the window, like, how much is that doggy by the window? How much is that doggy? Okay, the first, my initial thought <laughs> was to look at, look at my food and it was steaming in the bag. <laughs> I could have sworn we, we locked eyes, but anyways, I'm in the, I'm in, I'm in my garage. And I feel bad because, you know, you're like unknowingly training your animal of having a sound where there's the microwave or the door opening. He's going to wait for you by the door or she or I don't know. I don't know y'all animals like that. I know mine. And what happens is when the door goes up five, less than five minutes, I'm through the door and he's hugging me and licking me and all this stuff. That's the, that's the side Cash don't show y'all, by the way. <laughs> Watch Cash on, Cash! But anyway, I go through the door, but this time I don't. So I'm in, I'm in the garage and I just decide to eat. And I feel a tear in my eye because I know Cash is by that door. Oh, you can't see it. But anyway, by that door waiting for me to go through with this tail wagon. But what he didn't know is I wasn't going to go through. Because I was busy eating my chicken tenders. So when I'm done, I put all the food, all the bones and all that stuff in the KFC bag. And I wrap it up, you know, to block the smell. And I put it in... Uh, y'all don't even know the setup of my garage. I put it in the garage. I go through and I'm like, hey, Cash, hey, Cash. I immediately tweeted because when the hunger was gone and my emotion set in, I felt bad and I tweeted that. Okay, that's what I tweeted. And I wanted to see if I'm the only one because I don't want to be like this. I feel like I'm betraying my own dog. It's bad enough. If I go to a friend's house and they have a dog and they're like humping and licking me and all that stuff and I have to go back home with that scent. And I just know Cash feels bad. But anyway, so here are the tweets and comments from my Instagram and my Facebook and Twitter about the whole ordeal because apparently I'm not alone, okay? So let's go ahead and read these comments together. And y'all go ahead and feel free to comment in and see if we're alone in this because I know y'all got some stories too. My YouTube family is different, okay? I'll wait till my older kids are at their dad's house to buy Oreos so I don't have to share. It's so much worse with kids, I promise you. I've hid fun size Twix and tampon wrappers. Before I got home from the grocery store. And I wish I was joking. <laughs> My dog is allergic to chicken. I, I eat Chick-fil-A in the car so she's not sad that I don't share it with her. It's so hard to say no to that face. First off, dogs are allergic to stuff. Uh, uh, chicken? That's like humans being allergic to grass or air. You, you don't say, you keep on saying yes to that dog. That dog face. <laughs> It's, it's going to be having bumps all over, including a nostril where that right eye is and that tongue being where that ear is, I'm telling you. Okay. I caught my other half in the
the car eating cheese sticks from Sonic. I was wondering what was taking him so long to come in, so I went out and he was deep throwing some cheese sticks. We have three kids. Sonic has cheese sticks! Ooh. They just introduced that boba mess! <laughs> I, when did they get cheese sticks? Yes, I also learned I can fit a whole cupcake plus frosting in my mouth because I heard my then four-year-old running towards that part of the house. And I panicked. <laughs> I also use a spicy hiding candy level parent. You know what? I seen this meme like 15 years ago. I think the kids, I the kids done caught on to that mess. Y'all better find a new hiding place, all right? Y'all heard it from me first. It's also what it's like being married. I will get myself Starbucks, Rita's, park in the gas station before our neighborhood and suck it down. Rita's too? You get a whole... You, readers, plural, you get margaritas before you get. Yes, I've eaten snacks at crazy early hours in my closet, hiding from my kids. I had my candy in my craft. I hid my candy in my craft supplies and eat them after the kids go to bed. My I don't even know. In my room, TV blasted with music, opened me a bag of candy, hearing little feet, mommy, what you open? Me, nothing. Them, can we have some me? Where y'all come from anyway? <laughs> my mom had three cats and would eat in the driveway in her car so she could eat in peace. Not just burgers, but like a steak and potato to go from a restaurant. I need to be more comfortable eating to eat like that. Let me tell y'all something. I need, I'll be damned if I get a whole entree, not even advertise, a whole entree from Applebee's or Ruby Tuesdays and eat it in my car just because my three cats? I didn't even know cats eat me. Yes, that's exactly what parenting is like. Sometimes I play hide and seek with my son just so I can hide and eat snacks or ice cream. I went to the movies one time by myself. I needed some me time. Thank you very much. Let me tell y'all about me time real quick, real quick, real quick. I had Facebook something and Snapchatted something not too long ago about eating alone. It is very therapeutic. All right, I used to feel bad while I was waiting at Chili's. Yes, I was a waiter at Chili's for two years. All right, but I felt bad for the older people because the older people would be the demographic of the people that would eat alone. And I would be like, oh man, you know what? You don't even have to tip me. You know, put them $2 towards a bowl of soup. You don't, you know what? I, but you get older and then you realize, yeah, I like going to the movies by myself. I like going places by myself and I like eating by myself. Not all the time, you just need that me time to yourself. I don't know if this person is a Pisces and I don't know because I'm a Pisces, that's the way it is, but if y'all feel the same way, let me know, okay, let me know. Well, afterwards, I went to get my daughter at daycare. I had one tiny kernel on my shirt I missed. Man, this kid gasped like she was dying and yelled, you went to the popcorn movie without me? 40 kids just stopped and stared at me. You would have thought I was guilty of murder. The reason why, the reason why I just sounded like a tea kettle right now because I can just imagine the whole classroom like a children of the corn or the voice just staring like, what? <laughs> is the ultimate betrayal off with my head. That and you never eat a hot meal with kids. I park down the street and eat sometimes before coming home because the little savages won't let me eat in peace. Ooh, she really felt that one. You know, I can imagine her being a neighbor of her and be like, oh, that's just Kelsey. She's just eating. Just leave her alone. We don't need a patrol here. Kids are sneaky at the grocery store with my oldest. When he wants something, he will not ask for it. Instead, he just says, mommy, I really like that to try and guilt me into buying them. Oh, so I guess this, uh, this girl, this 
your, this mom don't have the kids that we were when we were kids. Why did that take me so long to? Because when I was a kid, if my mommy buying, I, you know, that I'm going to be grabbing all the things from the, put them right in the cart. She not even, she don't even notice it until she gets to the cash register. Yep, yes sir, I haven't had a meal to myself in 24 years. You got me all the way fucked up. That won't, again, you got me all, all the way fucked You think I'm a, 24 years? I was trying to sneak and eat a Kit Kat. Well, my five year old at the time comes up to me, grabs my face, takes a deep breath and says, where's the chocolate. I put cold black coffee in a Coke bottle. When kids ask to try it, said sure, but you won't like it. Poor little things were convinced that cola was nasty for years. The irony is I just put on my TikTok me tasting the coffee plus Coke sort of thing. Well, no, not sort of thing. It was literally coffee and Coke. I don't know why Coca-Cola tried that. But anyway, the point is you just have a Coke bottle full of black coffee near you all the time. I've eaten chocolate with the bath running so my kids think I'm taking a bath and leaving me alone. Sometimes I play hide and seek and don't seek. So, <laughs> sometimes I play hide and seek and don't seek for a while just to finish my coffee and eat another cookie. I pretended to poop so I could eat a brownie alone. Oh. Out of all the snacks, you, and while you poop and you eat a brownie, it's the same color. They stuck their fingers under the door like zombies, but at least I didn't have to share. If I get an occasional Slurpee for myself, that thing had better be gone by the time I get home. Just saying. I think Jeremy is the first dad. I don't know. I, I think Jeremy's the first dad that commented. I'm just saying. Yep, you won't be able to eat or drink anything fun without them wanting some or all of it. <laughs> if a kid, you know what? If a kid, you... having kids is worse. They can actually come out to the car. Alonzo, thank you for keeping a smile on my face. My father recently passed away. And when I find myself wondering, I always see a post by you and you help bring a little light to my dark times. Thank you. You guys know. Thank you, man. I needed this laugh. Y'all just don't know. It's, it's like, it's more of you than me. I'm just saying. I needed this so much, but make sure you guys leave a comment and let me know if you hide <laughs> eating food from your kids. Tell the truth. It's just between you and I. Comment down below. I will see y'all with a new video pretty soon. <laughs> Feel me? Thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs up anyway. Cause you will. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up. Cause you, cause you, cause you will. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up. <laughs> but with that being said, thumbs up.